This will be a short video on how to reset the 8832 speakerphone running enterprise firmware to factory default. We're going to hold down the hash symbol, also known as the pound key, while we power on the actual phone. At the top there, right above the LCD, we'll see the bar light up, glowing white. When it lights up, we'll release the hash key and we'll press in a sequential order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, asterisk, 0, hash. So let's take a quick look at it here and see the actual sequence of events. The key is going to be the timing. So when we see the horizontal bar at the top of the LCD light up, we want to go ahead and let go of the hash key and then do the sequential keys as we're going to see here in a moment. Okay, we're powering up the 8832. And okay, the bars lit up. We'll go ahead and press the keys in sequence right now. Okay, now we just have to wait a little bit. It's initiating the factory reset at this point of time. It goes fairly quickly. Um, I would say probably in about a minute and a half, two minutes, the factory reset will be done. Once it completes the factory default reset, we'll take a look at the settings, uh, specifically the firmware this phone has. If you notice, the bar lit up green there for a moment. And this is something you may need to use if you have a phone that was used in the past with like a different CUCM cluster and you're moving that phone to a different application and you're not sure what the phone was set to as far as the password, administrative password. So definitely this is something you may need to leverage. The timing is very critical for this procedure. So if, if you don't succeed the first time, go ahead and retry it you know, a few more times the other thing also to consider is the version of firmware the unit it has. Um, I do have another video that I talk on how to upgrade firmware from older to newer enterprise firmware using a local TFTP server. It does require an XML file, but there is another video I'll post in the description below. Okay, so the phone is booting right now. We'll go into the settings here in a moment and take a look at... Okay, that's just the tone that it comes up with when you first boot the unit, it's factory default. So we're gonna go here and take a look at the system information. Okay, it's a CP8832. And then we'll look at the firmware. That's the firmware 1281. And thank you for watching this short video. Hopefully this helps you with the resetting of the 8832 speakerphone running enterprise firmware. Thank you for watching.